Hey guys, it's Sam, and I have been a little bit nervous about posting this video, but I'm also really excited to share it with you. As you may know, I've been living in Austria since earlier this year, and I was kind of thinking about the things that people think of when they think of Austria. Yodeling has become kind of like the stereotype of Austria. So I was thinking, hey, I'm in Austria, maybe I should learn what real yodeling is. So long story short, this year I decided to learn how to yodel. <laughs> So here we go. It all started earlier this year when on one of the forums I followed, someone had posted about a yodeling group. So I actually reached out to the instructor and was like, hey, I don't know how to sing. I don't know what yodeling is, but will you teach me? And this is actually how I ended up meeting Max. So Max kind of became my teacher for yodeling and he showed me what it is. And then we actually brought in one of my friends, Chris, who is a singer and he does like lots of pop and Spanish music. And he actually joined our group. And so we kind of became this little yodeling trio. Before you know it, we were on a mountaintop doing some yodeling. So now here comes the scary part where I show you guys how I went from not knowing how to sing at all to yodeling on a mountain. I'm here with... Max. And you do yodeling. Yeah, from now and then. It was actually a couple of years ago, I was in the mountains, I heard some people yodeling and also people yodeling in Vienna. I really liked it. So you're gonna actually try to show me how to do a little bit of yodeling. We're just gonna try some things out and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe let's start with the most stereotypical one. Okay. So what you try to do is oh, use <laughs> to, to start from, from your bass voice, okay. which is here. Mm -hmm. And you want to pull it up into your head voice. Yeah. For example. Okay. So. Wait, I'm supposed to try yes. it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing is like you imagine that okay. there's another you're on this side of the mountain and then right. on the other side there's oh, far far away there's a person like a friend that you want to call hey check out this little plant here or little goat uh -huh. it's really cute and you want to get his or her attention and then okay. you're like hey you so maybe just try hey hey yes and then from hey to you maybe hey you. hey you. yes almost <laughs> that was a little bit just try again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But exactly. I, that's it. You basically know how to do it. You have to really picture the mountain. You have to picture it. It's like okay. really far away. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. That's yodeling. <laughs> So Max went on to explain to me three different styles of yodeling. One being the classic sound most people think of from movies or viral videos. The second is a Viennese style that can be heard in wine bars or cafes and it's called doodle. And this has a much softer approach to yodeling since it's made for more indoor settings. <laughs> The last is actually made for choirs, and it's completely different than what you expect, and that is actually the yodeling I'm about to learn. But there's a lot more styles in this. It all depends on the region that you're in. It might have a different sound, different lyrics. Maybe they use instruments. Or none at all. So let's get to our style. Very slow and now you have to think of people in traditional clothes, also on a mountain of course. Those are usually used to appreciate something. So oh, either it's okay. like um, something religious uh -huh. or it's about nature. Do these words actually mean something? They don't mean anything. Oh, okay. They just, they're Sounds like, because we use them since hundreds of years. Oh, huh, okay. Yo ri, ri, di, yo, e, yo, i, ri. Yo, yo, ri, ri, di, yo, e, yo, i, ri. Then you would be here. So I have to match that sound. That's yours. And I'm gonna sing your voice now so okay. that you try yeah. to remember. <laughs> It's not what I 
expected at all, actually, because it's nothing like the other style. No, it's, it's nothing, wow. and that's actually the one that's used mostly. Yeah. Yeah, it's very thoughtful, like, very yeah. like meditational. Okay. Yeah. 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 tones in these words i don't know it just sounds really nice and it feels really nice yeah it does it that. makes you happy yeah <laughs> it makes you happy <laughs> wow this is actually went a lot better than i expected <laughs> <laughs> see it's not very difficult yeah Okay, so after a few lessons, like I was getting a little bit more comfortable knowing that this is actually like a possibility that I could actually do. This is going to be my new rehearsal space. I am super self-conscious and I really don't like the thought of my neighbors being able to hear me. This is the perfect place for me to practice and I'm going to make myself practice today in my bathtub. Okay, I have some sheet music and I have basically some recordings from like our last rehearsals to hopefully play along and then keep myself in tune. about to head out to what could potentially be our last practice rehearsal before our big performance day. We might even get a few more easy songs today because we are not that advanced yet. So hopefully today's songs won't be too challenging. And if you happen to follow me on Instagram this morning, I totally had a bunch of dental work done and I just got feeling into my lips maybe like 30 minutes ago. So yay, last rehearsal. It is that, exactly that. Yo, yo, yo. the yo, the ri, so you do the r, ri, and the ho, ho, so the ho. Yeah. Yo, yo, eh, ho. That's, that's Spanish. It's like blowing out a candle in a strange way. Ho, 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 ho. And you got this sound great. And important is that you keep it. No. <laughs> That's the head voice. Yeah. Yo. It's just like breaking. For the day of us performing, I was getting super nervous. I wanted to like go all in. So I was like, let's get in our traditional clothes. Let's go up the mountain. Let's like do it right. I did not want to make fun of this. I want to like really try my best to like yodel the correct way and like in the right place. What are we doing, Sam? <laughs> We're gonna go yodel. <laughs> <laughs> Got a pro yodel in here. <laughs> Yodeling. <laughs> Ah! Yes. Yo, 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 yo. 
Oh, ew. <laughs> but I want to see how loud Sam can get. Okay, ready? At the count of three, we're all just gonna scream really fucking loud, like, like <laughs> oh my God. all the feelings in our in our stuff, Okay, <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> ah! Okay. <laughs> see. How drill I ho? How drill I ho? How drill I ho? Alpera, Alpera, how drill I ho? How drill I ho? Alpera, Alpera. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Yori, yori, heli. Yori, yori, heli. Yori, yori, heli. Yori, yori, heli. finally made it to the mountains after like months of practicing and planning. We're actually here about an hour outside of Vienna. You can see the beautiful views. That way is all the tourists and hikers walking by. Yeah, we had an audience. <laughs> yeah. Yori, yori. yodeling was so much fun. It was just like a break from everything else in my normal routine and I just genuinely enjoyed it. <laughs> so I know my voice is not the best and it was completely shot by the time we had finished filming up on the mountain but I'm also really happy that I got to like really try this out and like put my whole heart into it. Like I would definitely continue to learn how to yodel. It's just very different and when you can actually take something like that and go somewhere and like shout it out it just feels even like better. I'm so thankful and so happy that I was able to do this with Max and Chris so thank you so much to them. I will put their Instagrams up here so please if you want to go say hello to them give them a like that would be really sweet of you guys so thank you so much to them like I really couldn't have done this without you guys and yes I'm just very grateful to you guys so that's gonna be it for this video. All I can say is that if you're really curious about something or you've been wanting to try something or you just really wanna learn about it, then go seek it out. Like that's the best thing you can do and I really am so surprised how much I learned and how much I really enjoyed. If there's something that you've been wanting to do and you've been a little afraid to give it a try, hopefully this gives you a little boost to go out and try something new that you've been wanting to. And if you ever find yourself in Austria on a mountaintop, now you know what to do. That's gonna end out our video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think of yodeling. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye.